Hey guys and welcome to Battle Turtle where we play video games because it's too dangerous to go outside. I'm Mel and I am here today playing Kingdom. Uh, so Kingdom is a totally adorable pixel side scroller game that I have been slightly addicted to for the past couple of days. Uh, Dan bought the game on sale like two nights ago and was like, hey Mel, you should check this out, and then I did, and we've kind of had our own little competition going for the past couple of days. Uh, and yeah, we've kind of stayed up until like 2 a.m. the past two nights in a row. Uh, which, you know, isn't bad. It's the Easter weekend. Oop, let's, let's get this going. So here's my little chick. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's not that bad. It's Easter weekend. It's not like we've got work in the morning, so we can, can be naughty and stay up until 2 a.m. Uh, but it also means that instead of recording stuff for Battle Turtle, I've been playing this amazing little game. So I thought, hey, uh, why don't I just record the amazing little game and then I can put it up on Battle Turtle and it's a win-win, you know? That's how these things work, right? <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so please let me know if you are into this game. Uh, if not, you're gonna get a bunch of this game in the next couple of couple of weeks or at least the next week I'll, I'll do a week worth of content uh, and then you know if you don't like it awesome we'll try a different game but in the meantime I don't feel like I'm procrastinating and not recording stuff for Battle Turtle all right uh, so this is night one basically what this game is is you have uh, you start off as a king or a queen on a horse and you go find a camp and you set up um, your kingdom for the night, basically. And the way that you do that is you go out to things like this. Ooh, thank you, buddy. That is real handy. So you go out into the forest and you find little camps like this and you go, hey guys, you want to come join my kingdom? And then you run back to your kingdom. So these guys are going to come back to my little campfire and go, you know what? We need some more archers. So you guys can come be archers. And then every night you get attacked by a bunch of scary little things and you have to try and survive the night, which sometimes goes easy and sometimes doesn't. <laughs> Especially not on every fifth night, there's a blood moon and the blood moon brings out the really scary things. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I should probably come up with a name for my kingdom. What to call it? Well, where are we? We've got like a bunch of rocks and stuff. Uh, and lots of green, so this definitely is an Australia. So I don't think an Australian name will suit. Um, later in the game you get a banner that hangs over your little campfire. I feel like that would be a good time to be able to name, name the kingdom. Because like... If I was to name it right now, and I named it something like, um, I don't know, England, for example, and then, like, some Viking-looking thing comes up, then, ah, I could always go with Castleton. Castleton's a good battle turtle default. Alright, done. My kingdom is called Castleton. That's easy. I don't have to think about that then. Alright, so here we are. We're on sunset. I've got my builder building a wall over here. Oh, thank you. We got more people as well. Awesome. Hey, come join my cult. I mean kingdom. Alright. Uh, this might be being a bit dumb because it's night time and that's when all the scary things come out. But I would like to see... Oh, yes! Chest. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, the first night isn't particularly scary. I usually only like... Oh, here we go. That's the little things that come out at night. Um, they'll attack your castle and usually all they want is money so a good technique is just to give it to them if you have it. Uh, this is a shrine that you can use. This is the archery shrine so it makes your archer stronger. You don't really need it right now. Every fifth night it's good to come out here and buff up your dudes. Alright, what else we got here? So this is all randomly generated. This is the portal where the scary guys come out of, so I'm going to get away from that. But yeah, so it's all randomly generated, so every time that you start a new kingdom, you get a different 
setting with different stuff on each side. So you kind of have to go out and check out where everything is. This might be on the other side in a different game. And usually on the first like night or two is the best time to do this because the, the bad guys aren't quite as scary. Look at that! Here we go. Day two. We survived, survived the first night. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to do this one as a series because that was requested. Uh, I think it was either YOLO the Brolo or Captain Bananas. It's one of those two. Those two comment a lot on our channel and it's super awesome and I always want to do anything that you guys request from us. Uh, admittedly though, they did request Minecraft and this definitely is not Minecraft, but uh, this is what I'm playing right now, so sorry. Ho hopefully this will make do. All right, so I got a bunch of archers. Archers in early game are fantastic. They defend and hunt. It's, it's great, I highly recommend it. All right, what do we got on this side? Mm, a whole lot of nothing. Some more nothing. We got that, that kingdom sign that fell down. What do we got after these trees? Some more nothing. Oh, we're doing great on this side. Oh, yay. There's lots of deer, though. Too bad I'm hurting them the wrong direction. But my horse is tired, so I can't... Here we go. If I can get in front of them. Alright, so we've got our builder's shrine out this way. That's good to know. It's far away away, though. Hey! Come join my cult. I mean, kingdom. And then we got a portal. Alright. This isn't all that bad. Okay. I mean, it's ages to try and find people on this side, but it does mean that there's plenty of room for expansion. Something that really, really annoys me early game um, is when all of your little uh, settlement camp things that we just went to, when they're all like right next to your castle, because as soon as you expand, you lose that, which means that later on in the game, you can't get more people if you expand it. So that can be rough. This this is good having them so far away because it means that later on, once we've expanded, we don't have to take over their camp in order to expand. And now I'm herding all these deer back to my archers. Yeah. I'm gonna get so much deer for dinner. Yeah, I, whoop, no, no, buddy, 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 buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. All right, he's getting away. That's all right, I've still got like three of them. Ah, ah, come on. Nope, nope, damn it. And my horse is tired. I need to, na oh, scare you back. Damn it. Okay, let's scare these two. We've still got two of them. Let's go, buddies. Yeah. Come on, archers. What you doing? You slacking off? Yeah, look, here he comes again. Get him. Alright, they got him. Good. And they defended the walls. Okay, you, you are forgiven for your slacking off. Alright, let's get back here. Thanks, guys. So the fact that one of those little demon things came from this side makes me think that those two villages that I sent back before probably got intercepted. They never quite made it, so I'm gonna have to go back and, and grab them. That's one annoying thing is what happens is the little demons attack your, your settlers and stuff and take their coin. And if they get their coin, then they go back out into the forest because logic says that being out in the forest when you have no money is better than being in my kingdom or something like that all right you have that and you have that okay buddies let's go actually all right uh so that what do we got 
So that's the end of the first episode. Uh, we didn't get much done tonight. We did get a good, good beginning to Castleton. And I'll be back tomorrow with more... What are we on? Night two? Night three. Here we go. Night three. So night five is when stuff, stuff starts getting real exciting. So we'll, next episode we'll have night five and you'll see the first blood moon. It's pretty great. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Video games! Well, actually, I can probably do it now. I think that's all that we're getting for tonight. Brilliant. All right, day five. This is where stuff gets real. Tonight is going to be a blood moon. Blood moons are not good. So I'm going to go out here and let's put some offerings to the shrine of the archery god. <laughs>